What's up YouTube? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use conditional if statements in your Airtable database. I hope this will be super helpful and you'll know how to use ifs like with the true, the false, where to put what values, and so on and so forth. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help business owners probably just like you help them optimize their workflows, optimize their information systems, and help them save a lot of time in their business and a lot of money in the long run. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so as you can see, we are in a sales CRM database, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a simple if statement based on this estimated value. If it's over the average of the estimated value column, then we'll have high, and if it's lower, then low. Pretty simple, this isn't gonna be a nested if in this tutorial. I can do nested if in another tutorial, but for this, we're just gonna keep it simple and do one. So we're gonna go ahead and insert a column to the right, and I'm gonna go down and find formula right there and then we're just gonna type in if so Airtable has changed their like ways and right now you, we won't put the title of the column in just yet um, we're just gonna keep it how it is so for the if statement you have if a true or false or a logical statement comma your value of true comma your value of false so if estimated value, you can start typing out your field name and then just click on it. And then I'm gonna say is greater than, and right now we're just gonna put 10,000 because I'm not sure exactly what the average is just yet, but that's all you put for each row in this database. Airtable will check, okay, is this value right here greater than 10,000? And then whatever you want as your true true or false value will show up in this new column. So now for the columns, you just put a comma and then you can either put text or you can put numbers. So I'll show you both. So for text, you wanna put a quote and then like hi. And then if you just want to do a number or you can do another field reference, you could do this. So now if I create this field, you can see some of them are text, some of them pull in dynamic data from another field. And so we're just gonna call this tutorial. So that that's how you pull in dynamic data. You can also just put in numbers here. So like if you wanted like 27 for whatever reason, you can have it just pull in a number and for numbers you don't need text. You can or for numbers, you don't need quotation marks. You can put quotation marks, but they're not needed. For text, they definitely are. So we will just put low. And now we actually do want it to take it off of the average of this other column. So the only thing I'm gonna switch down here, so I'm gonna find the average of this column and then I'm going to input that into here for now. So it's about 17,000. And now you should have a good idea of which one are high and which one are low based on this average, which if you add more records in here with more data, that will be subject to change. So it's not the best dynamic data, but it is a step further to being able to sort these by high or low. So I hope that was helpful. I hope now you know how to use your if statements in Airtable. And if you want to see how to do a nested if, then throw a comment in the comments section and also hit subscribe so you get more Airtable content just like this, as well as some on some other systems as well. So I hope this was super helpful and throw a like on it and have a great day.